And let's go ahead and move on to the final topic of the day. We kind of just talked about it already. But on top of Batgirl being canceled, Warner Brothers Discovery, it was like, look, we're going to use our brains. We're going to use our noggins. If Marvel can do it, we can do it, too. They have put together a 10 year plan or that's what David says. He says he wants Alan Horn to come over and help out with it. I have this from the direct Warner Brothers announced 10 year plan, a 10 year DC movie plan. We are Mar uh, mirror Marvel. And um, that's pretty smart right there. Warner Brothers has been trying to get DC Cinematic Universe off the ground for over a decade now, particularly since Disney found great success with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This grand plan started with Man of Steel, but began to fall apart after Zack Snyder departed after the Justice League. If you scroll down and look at to where he quoted, DC's top heroes are said to be seen as a big opportunity for the company moving forward. Additionally, Zaslav confirmed that they will be building a team with a 10-year plan focusing just on DC, similar to what Disney is doing with Marvel and Kevin Feige. As we look at the opportunities that we have broadly, DC is at the top of the list for us. You look at Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman. These are brands that are known everywhere in the world, and the ability to drive those all over the world with great stories is a big opportunity for us. We have, a, we have done a reset. We've structured the business where we're going to focus. There will be a team with a 10-year plan focusing just on DC. It's very similar to the structure that Alan Horn and Bob Iger put over at Disney. Zaslav also shared his goals to focus on quality to ensure projects are not only being released when they are completely ready. We think that we can build a long-term, much stronger, sustainable growth business out of uh, DC. And at a part, we're going to focus on quality. We're not going to release any film before it's ready. We're not going to release a film to make a quarter. The focus is going to be on how we make these films in general and as good as possible. But DC is something we think we can make better. We're focusing on right now. Uh, Elliot, I'm going to come to you first in this time, but this is how I'm going to set it up. Now, um, I'm very, very happy with this move right here. I didn't pull up an article, but it was also announced that uh, while Batgirl is canceled, they're guaranteeing that The Flash is going to be released in theaters. Um, that's an important film because it's going to balance everything out in the DCEU from a story point. I know it was expensive, but given that it was already shot and pretty much done in post-production, um, they have no choice because uh, it's just twice as much as Batgirl. But Ezra Miller is a damn fool. Uh, I mean, killing, he's just, he needs to get his ish together. And he's making it so, so hard on everybody right now. But we know that he's not going to be back. So with that being said, I'm happy. If you know Flashpoint, if you know the story of Flash, you know, he has the power to um, change the universe, change time, you know, make a new existence, change reality if he wants to. So I think with this, the axing of the, the Scoob thing, Bad Girl, Wonder Twins, um, Ezra Miller acting dang fool. When we finally see this Flash movie, um, that's the last time we're going to see Ezra Miller. It's going to reboot the universe in some way, shape, or fashion. And that is going to give Zaslav the great um, uh, through line to focus more on Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman, like this says. It makes no sense why we're getting... I mean, I, I, while I do enjoy the Shazam movies, it doesn't make sense that that's being prioritized more than a Henry Cavill Superman sequel. And so with all that being, you know, and, and or Batman, I know we got the uh, Robert Pattinson Batman, but a Batman in the DCEU, that should be priority. And it looks like we're heading in that direction. And The Flash is going to be the first film to take us there. So again, Elliot, with all that being said, man, how are you feeling about all this? I can already guess, but let all the people know um, how you feel, sir. Yeah, man, uh, a 10 year plan gets me excited, B. Um, because again, <laughs> there hasn't been no plan, it's just been like, all right, guys, just go out and have fun. Now, here's you need to know how much you need, Zach. Okay, yeah, we'll start that. Yeah, yeah, have fun, come back when it's done. Uh, so knowing that we're going to have a structure and a plan and a team in place to kind of create this world, create these great stories and narratives is, is very exciting. Um, and as far as this kind of again, the, the quality aspect that they're not going to just put out monies to, to uh, put out movies to make a dollar. Uh, sounds good in logic uh, because there has been, you know, there's executives, they want to make money, but there is, you know, there is a 
story out there about previous ownership, you know, putting out movies just to make a, you know, a bonus check and to make sure they get, uh, you know, bonuses come Christmas time and stuff like that. So at least that they're switching up the strategy um, and playing a wish of hope. And dream. Hey, listen, Sharon, I'm telling you right now, Sharon, we're going to, we're going to, we're going we to we have to meet up and link up when we drop that first David Zasloff film. And it's probably Superman, Henry Cavill back in the role. Uh, we're going to love it. You're going to love it. But no, it, it gets me really excited. They do have a plan uh, in place and they're trying to structure this world and structure these characters. And it seems like they're, they're cherry picking right now. It seems like you know we got ben affleck coming back and aquaman maybe the whole michael keaton being the nick fury of the universe is no longer a thing uh hopefully gal gadot you know get her wonder woman three and see what we got there aquaman moving forward my man uh coming back mm -hmm. and uh and re yes definitely recasting uh them uh ezra miller uh, is, is running amok out here in these streets. So definitely recast mm -hmm. them ASAP. Uh, and as far as just kind of just stating my, my thoughts about the flash film coming out, it, it would be a shame if that film were to get canceled or get shelved because <laughs> one idiot person is destroying everyone else's plan. I'm an Andy Muschietti fan. So I know, and I've heard, hearing some fantastic things about this film, uh, as far as the flash goes. So, uh, I'm very excited to see what they do with that film. And like you said, Brandon, as far as Flashpoint goes, I think this film is going to definitely restructure the DC universe to see new characters, new direction, new worlds, new universes, and things of that nature. So I'm here for it, man. Seeing your plan, sign me up for it, David. Hopefully, again, put the team together, sit down, map it out. Again, priority, Superman. Make him <laughs> the, focus on that film first. Uh, and then again, the, the Trinity, continue the Wonder Woman narrative, continue the Batman uh, story. And then, of course, from there, let's get some Justice League, baby. Let's get some Green Lantern, some Jon Stewart leading the uh, Green Lantern Corps. Let's get some, you know, a cyborg back on the map. Uh, again, recast the Flash immediately, faster yes. than Barry Allen can run. Let's get a new actor in this role. Uh, and then again, uh, from there, you get a Batgirl. You get the Bat family. From there, you get uh, Justice League Dark. From there, you get the Zatanas of the world and the, the, uh, 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 Constantine in the world and all that stuff. But we have to focus on the, the crown jewels, which are the Trinity character with Superman being number one. Yes, and since you bring up Superman, do you mean a uh, black Superman? What do you think is going to happen with that right there? You think we're still going to get it? No. no, I think that that is unfortunately right, next to Batgirl. Uh, I think <laughs> that they have put that in the back burner. Uh, hopefully, you know, Michael D. Jordan working on Static Shock. I hope that the whole, that comic book run and those characters get to see their time on the screen. But uh, yeah, it, listen, and we talked about it months ago, Brandon. If we can get... <laughs> A, a white Brandon. Superman story being told right. Imagine what they're going to do to a black Superman story. It's going to be, yes. you know, you remember, yeah, uh, with the dreads and my favorite you know, episodes. <laughs> got baby mamas all across the planet. And it's like, no, nah, if y'all can get a Superman story right, what you, you don't think I'm going to have faith in y'all having, you know, the freaking Tyler Perry wigs and, and stuff? It's just like, nah, not nah, 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 I'm not here for that. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Him, let's hear it, man. You did not just reference that Shamar Moore way. <laughs> yes, yes. E, oh my God. Um, <laughs> uh, gosh. How you feeling? How you feeling? Man, I. It's a shame that business wise, it didn't work out. That canceling Batgirl would give them the money to pull a, um, you know, like what they did with all the money in the world with was it Kevin Spacey and they and they redid all his scenes. It's too bad they couldn't cancel that girl, take that money and go, let's recast the flash. We got a good movie. Let's just reshoot his scenes. Now that we have the money, it's too bad that didn't work out financially because it's not like Ezra Miller is just doing little stupid stuff. These are serious allegations. Right, right. Some Rooming BS. a minor. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I have no patience for like the whole human trafficking, sexual assault, sexual harassment. I have no patience for that. Right. And it's going to be hard to sit through a movie and really enjoy it, knowing that he's out here in these streets committing crimes. I feel like he should he should have been on like hunted down by like Dog the Bounty Hunter or something. Like you're in Hawaii, just acting a fool. Did they even find him? Is he still on the run? Get I don't know. Let me let me let me ask you this. You you brought up a good point. You said that it's going to be hard to enjoy the film knowing that he's out acting crazy. Mm -hmm. Do you think that uh, there should be some type of uh, disclaimer or preface at the beginning of the movie? Like Ezra yeah. Miller would not be returning as the Flash. This no. is the last time you see him. No? Really? No. Okay. No. Oh, there's no. It's already tainted. <laughs> it's just tainted. 
Okay, yeah, okay. Because yeah, remember, yeah, the, the, yeah. I don't, I don't think the average movie audience knows about all this. That's I think what it's just about us. Say. Yeah, I think it's that's just us. true. That's yeah. true. I mean, it is. You're, you're 100 right about that. It is just us. It, it is just the community members that, um, that really know the behind the scenes. I mean, I, I think I, I was talking about the Flash to a friend who doesn't know any of this, and they're like, "Who's Ezra Miller? Like, what? Mm -hmm. Like, like I, you're 100 true about that. A lot of people will watch it and be like, I just love this Ezra guy. I'd love to see him in something else. Yeah, uh, you'll see him behind flirt. bars, hopefully, <laughs> if they can find him. <laughs> wow. um, <laughs> but I, I'm serious. It really is too bad that they can't find the money to reshoot. Yeah. Um, anyway, moving on from that, because that I'll just get on the whole tangent about that. Um, people perish for a lack of vision. And I'm really glad about this 10 year plan because it says that they have vision. It says that um, we're thinking about this. This is well thought out. Like, like you know, the demise of DC, I feel like a lot of things I'm like, did you even think, did you make a storyboard? Like, come on, <laughs> you know? So I'm, I'm really happy that they have a 10 year plan. In terms of re, like, I don't, I, I hope they don't scrap everybody. Because um, for me, Jason Momoa, I feel like he's one of those castings like, like Patrick Stewart as Professor X. This is a this is an island guy. Like this is a man of the water. Like I feel like he's the perfect Aquaman. I really hope they don't recast him. Uh, there's some people I, I do want to continue to see. I want Henry Cavill. Bring him back. Stop messing around. Um, I'm really excited that they have a ten year plan. Um, I, I, yeah, I mean David Zaslav, he's a beginner. This is just the start of whatever he's going to do. But like I said. I feel like DC people should be really excited that he's making the tough, necessary decisions. Um, and I think that one thing, pride, pride will really stop creativity. And I like that he's not being prideful and going, well, I don't care about those Marvel people. I don't care what they're doing. You know, they're my competitor and I'm not taking any notes. I like that he's, he's humble enough to go, you know, my competitors, they, they made a well thought out plan. I respect it. Uh, I'm going to give them their due and I'm going to take some notes from them and do our own thing. I like I like that to see that in a leader. I like to see some humility. I like to see someone appreciating other people or, or even your competitor. Um, and, and it's nice that he's he's giving them their due. And um, I like to see what Alan Horn's going to do. I, a plan. There's nothing wrong with a plan. I love that you have a 10 year plan because Marvel, come on, phase phases and phases. Every time um, uh, Zyge, <laughs> Feige gets in whole H and he breaks down his plan, er, there's a timeline. Everyone's with it. You can tell his passion. It's so well thought out. I think DC should follow suit. I think it's wonderful that they're doing this. Yeah, and, and the, since you brought up Feige, if you think about it, guys, the only thing that Feige has not delivered on that he announced was the Inhumans uh, back years ago. Every other plan that he's... I mean, dates have moved around, but he's delivered on everything. So uh, right on, right on, right on. Tara, Tara, how you feeling about all this, ma'am? Get in there. How you feeling about this 10-year plan? You already know how I feel about this 10-year plan. Like, <laughs> it has been, like, set, set, and, like, Elliot said it perfectly. You can't, like, 10-year plan is a plan. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't care if he secret doesn't even have a plan. And he just told us he had a 10-year plan. It's better than what we've been getting, like... <laughs> Right. Him deleting and just like scrapping and starting from scratch, that, that's the best thing smoking to me. Like as far as the casting choices, like I really love who we have. Oh, it, like he needs to go. Like I feel like he has tainted the project and like him said, I don't see how people are going to sit there. I mean, people are going like, oh, well, what, what did you say? Be like the average moviegoer doesn't know yeah. about that. But, you know, once people see a film, like all it takes is one good tweet, one good TikTok. It's like oh, they allowed him to be there. And then that that situation overshadows the entire film and all the work that's been put into it. But outside of that, like, I am just really excited about this. I don't, I don't even care what it is. <laughs> I don't even care what it is. Like the fact that he's, I was so happy to see Batgirl go. I was like, get that out of here. That, that just solidified him as greatness in my book that he had sense enough to say, why are we here? Why are we doing these projects? These things are supposed to be in the forefront. This is what we should be focusing on. So if we have to scrap that and do a whole 10 year plan. Like, Let's do that. Sharonda, a 10-year plan is a, is a plan. The, the man has yes, a plan. Yes, He's going to make something happen. So I, I'm, I'm so excited to see what he has to offer. And I can, like, anybody who has a problem, like, get punched in the face. He is about to come through and clean house. And I'm here for it all 10 years of it.
<laughs> right on, right on that. So uh, thank, thank you, thank you for that, Tara. And just I'm gonna go around the uh, real quick. I'm gonna wrap it up because it's getting late. We gotta head out of yeah. here. Um, just real quick, if if you if it was up to you, what two films? It don't have to be Batman, Wonder Woman, or Superman. What two films out of all DC would you green light? I'll go first, and I would say I would want a Green Lantern movie. Um, uh, focus more on the Green Lantern core. And also a Ben Affleck directed uh, Batman film, uh, as him as the character. Uh, Elliot, what about you? Uh, yeah, Henry Cavill, uh, Man of Steel two, Man of Tomorrow, uh, with uh, Matthew Vaughn maybe coming to direct that. Uh, and then I would probably want to see a yeah, Green Lantern, John Stewart. Uh, let's get okay. that going. Okay, so we got a Batman and Green Lantern. We got a Superman and Green Lantern. Ken, where you at? So give me Henry Cavill or give me death. Like, let's okay. go, Superman. Uh, definitely Superman. Um, and, and God, the last Wonder Woman was. Um, <laughs> I, I really, I really, I really want to see um, Wonder Woman done better. I want to see um, more of Thermoskira. Um, I, I love Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. So I want to see just a different director, um, a different point of view. I, the, her in the Snyder Cut to me was. That is who Wonder Woman was. Um, okay. But, you know, bringing Zack Snyder back, I know that's a whole nother conversation. Um, but I would really love to see Superman and, and Wonder Woman green okay. for sure. Tara, cool. Thank you. Thank you, Tara. Same boat. So, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. We're all in the uh, the same Superman boat. Definitely want some more Superman, Man of Steel, and Green Lantern because we just need that. Like, we need that. Like, it needs nice. to be done properly with justice. And I would love to see that happen because it's with been talks, justice. but yet and still, you know, no movie has happened. So I would like to see that. But definitely Man of Steel. Right on, right on, right on. Okay. Well, I love it, guys. I love it. I love it. So I had uh Batman and Green Lantern. Elliot has Superman and Green Lantern. Kim has Superman and Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. And Tyra had Superman, 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 and Superman and Green Lantern. Grand Lantern as well. And so, guys, you guys let us know what you think. What are your two uh films that you would like Green Lit immediately? If you were David Zaslav, let us know what you think about Batgirl being canceled, similar loose tweets, this 10-year plan. Um, hey, if you're excited, unlike Miss Sharonda in the chat, uh, and I'm just teasing, but we're, we're all excited over here. I'm pretty sure she's excited too, uh, to see Nubia in a Wonder Woman sequel as well. And again, guys, if you're watching this via live or in the replay, there is a link down to this in the description box for you to read at your own leisure.